Hello you guys, so today it's all about cleaning motivation because for this month of October we're gonna try and get a house together for the holidays so that we don't have to stress out too much. So as you can see I already got a lot of laundry started this morning. I'm holding my little baby because that's how mommy does all the chores around the house. I gotta get her ready and change because she just had breakfast. Hi there everybody, welcome back to This Is How We Rock and now for the month of October we're gonna do a deep cleaning around our house and I'm gonna be taking you along with me. I hope you enjoy these videos. They're gonna be a great cleaning motivation for you and for me as well because this keeps me motivated. The fact that I need to journal my uh, cleaning schedule with you guys and we're gonna do a room a day or an area a day because since I'm a mom to five little kids, one of them is her. <laughs> Ariana, do you want to say hi to the viewers? She wants to vlog you guys. You want to say hi? Oh no, she saw the boy. It was so pretty of you. What do you want to take it out for? Now, I'm going to show you how I do deep clean my laundry room because in the meantime, you know, what happens to the laundry rooms, they all become like garage storage. They become art storage. They become a storage room. So I want to put everything to where it belongs back again and try to keep it that way so if there's anything that I can emulate, eliminate I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, I'm gonna show you just really real time basically cleaning I gotta watch for my baby here she wants to be in the car so what I do also once a month I go through the big laundry job that I gotta get down for example like rugs that can be washed or like big duvet covers you know that I need to wash once a month so I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I clean the floor and the walls and the shelves so that when the laundry is completely done then I can move into cleaning and deep cleaning the washing machine alrighty so every time I clean an area um, a room I like to take with me this air purifier this one is from Levoy I just stopped there I'm pronouncing this right and it's so light to carry around the house so I don't mind to do that at all I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in because every time I clean a, a, an area a room, especially the laundry room I know that there's gonna be a tons of dust you know, with all the uh, lint coming from the dryer especially so I like to have this one right here to clean up the air let me show you I'm gonna plug it in right now So you see when it's blue it actually means that the air is good and then if it turns orange or red you know that it is getting like a little bit needs to uh, get purified so so far it's so good i'm gonna leave it on and let's get started all right so while we wait for the laundry to get done i gathered all my cleaning supplies and all i have is nothing fancy guys i have just some warm water with a couple of drops of dish soap natural dish soap detergent an old towel and just an old toothbrush because this is going to be really helpful to get into the little details of the washing machine so we're going to be starting from the top shelf well, it's the only shelf i got and i'm going to go through you see i got some art supplies right here i got some garage belonging items right here uh, so i'm just gonna get everything done give it a quick little dust and uh, just leave the whatever belongs to the laundry room Now since this is wood and it's untreated wood, I'm not going to go crazy with the water solution that I have. I'm just going to dump the towel. I'm going to be easy to clean with and just very lightly just remove the dust that is on top of it and that should do it. Alright, I'm really enjoying my fresh air here while I'm cleaning. This is like a little me time. <laughs> Call me crazy, but so here's what I got so far on top of the shelf. Looking pretty good, pretty excited about it to keep it this way. Just the essentials. So what I have here, my friends, is some white vinegar. I use this as a fabric conditioner because we all know how bad fabric conditioners actually are. And I have here my laundry soda, which is just plain baking soda baked in the oven until it changes its pH and it becomes laundry soda. And it does a fabulous job to clean your clothes. And all you need is a tiny scoop because it's not diluted into water with water, you know, like all the other laundry detergents are. They just waste money, basically, I believe in. 
Uh, so this lasts me for a whole year, believe it or not, and it only costs me a few cents. Then I have here our all natural oxy, and uh, it's actually from this brand right here, from the Melis brand. I got this from, you can find it everywhere nowadays. I got this from Natural Grocers. So it's all natural right there. And then I have my baking soda that I use to remove stains with or even do the cleanings around the house. And my old faithful body right here, my iron, uh, still goes strong. All I'm gonna be putting on top of the shelf still is my peroxide right there because I used to combine it with some baking soda just to remove the tougher stains. And let me show you my friends, my wool balls right here for my dryer because we all know once again about the dryer sheets are for the environment and for your body so definitely switch to this one so you can find this at walmart too for four dollars so it's a great deal and uh, yeah that's all i use they're stained because i put a little bit of essential oils every time just so that their clothes smell good and it's all natural so i got them right here in these open baskets when it's the laundry room i like to have open baskets because there's lots of dust going on especially from the dryer right here so i like to just be able to shake baskets so they don't collect dust which is really harmful to your elf and that's why i like to have them like that Next, I'm gonna have a sip of my tea and then we're gonna continue. So, you know, many of you ask me how I do everything and uh, it's not that I have lots of energies. I just try to turn those mundane chores, those chores that I don't like so much to do into a fun activity for me. So I usually do with the kiddos around, they help kind of or uh, just uh, I put some music on so the whole family is engaged in doing something all together or I just make myself some healthy tea that I can drink so by the time I'm done drinking it even the chore is done um, yeah so I try to turn it into a little fun thing for me to do time to switch the last load of laundry into my dryer so that I can start actually cleaning this big old thing right here so the second basket is now ready to go on top of the shelf there you go, I got my big scrubber right here that I use for cleaning the floors or the bathtubs and I got my hydrogen peroxide right here, sorry it's a little bit heavy. I should probably put a warning sign right here because, oh man, just think within a month, let me see if it starts zooming in, there you go, within a month this is what happens right here. So that's what we're going to be scrubbing and cleaning up and making sure that it's all well maintained because during the holidays, during the winter times, we know how much we're going to be using our friend here and our friend right here. So we want them to run nice and smooth. Everything is nice and clean as you can see. Now what I like to do, we're gonna put it into a clean washer with a little bit of vinegar and then it's gonna take care of it for the inside and the washing machine, it's all nice and ready to go. I'm gonna be, in the meantime, I'm gonna be putting some music because obviously there's gonna be all the noise going on, but I'm gonna be cleaning the details outside of the washing machine, so this is good. Once I get this part right out of the dryer, I like to get the vacuum and just make sure that I get all the little pieces. Alright, so while I'm at it, I'm gonna be washing this rug right here because I usually keep it because I dry my clothes into uh, with a rug, with a clothes rug right in here together with the rug i'm actually washing the mopping part right here the cloth 
of my steam mopper. I love it. It doesn't take any detergent at all. It just works with the hot steam, just with distilled water in it. And so right here, where I should be hanging all my brooms and stuff and cleaning supplies, I actually hang the little horses for the kiddos. Yeah, so sorry about the great music back there. My husband is practicing. So <laughs> anyway, so at what point I am right now? You got louder. All right, I told him off. That's it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be finishing my tea, which gives me enough time for me to mop the floor. That's what I wanna do. So now I've got left all these little details like the drying clothes, the rack right here that I'm gonna be placing between my dryer and the washing machine. I still have my air purifier running because it's been such a big amount of dust that's been lifted up. So I'm just gonna let it run for a little uh, over half an hour here. So let me show you my final deep clean room because I'm really excited myself. It's little things, isn't it guys? So. Here it is, just a big overlook of what the room looks like right now. I got all the essentials right there. My dryer balls, my appliances all nice and clean. The door right there with the kids bikes helmets that we always need handy. The mop steamer, my hamper, the drying rack right there. Every time I need it, I'm just gonna open it and put it on top of the rack right there. And is this it? The horses, of course. And my ironing board. All right, you guys, so that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? So we're gonna be doing this just for the month of October. We're gonna be going through our house. We're gonna be trying to clutter our closets, our clothes, our kitchen, our books, our living room. So stick around because we're gonna try and put out a video each day that I'm trying to either deep clean or just organize and simplify it better. So that by the time that the big holidays come around like Thanksgiving and Christmas, we should be pretty good with our house, right? We just need a little bit of maintenance. That's the goal. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below if there's an area that you really struggle with or you would like me to make a video of and i will catch you in the next video you guys bye bye